Last time on Geek Force, the squad talked about episode 7 and 8 of WandaVision. So many questions, how's it going to end? We'll tune in now and we'll talk about that immediately on Geek Force. Welcome to Geek Force, the show where pop culture rules all. I'm your host, Kat. With me today is the amazing G Squad of Marlon, Ray, and Emi. Welcome back, you guys, to a brand new episode. I'm so excited for this episode because hello, we hello. finally made it um, after so long. Another long. show that we all end. were really, really got into, and it just recently ended this past weekend. This is feeling like the end of Mandalorian all over again. Like but I just, better this but time. slightly more closure. It's true, more closure. More closure. But I, I'm, I'm seeing a pattern Slightly. of we're Slightly. in the show and then it ends and then we're like, okay, what's next? So I'm glad we have another show coming. But dang, we went through a lot of emotional roller coasters, you guys. Um, if the listeners are trying to figure out what I'm talking about, WandaVision aired its finale this past Friday. So many things to talk about. So many things to <laughs> check off our prediction list. It's a wrap. Wait, do you- did, did, did you all see the uh, pr- pr- predictions I posted online for WandaVision? Like, some I think of them. the night I think before. So. I didn't. Nope. Yeah, I, I think didn't. I made some pretty, like, off the wall, like, here's my guesses. Uh, mostly, I just said things like, Pietro is, uh, I think I said, Pietro's not coming back. And I said, Vision's going to die. And then I said, Photon will use your powers. And I think that was like maybe like the ones I can remember off the top of my head. She barely did that. I like hmm. I just well, barely I skirted no by on some of these answers. Came. Right. <laughs> my my main thing is someone was coming and no one did. So. What about you? I Ray? know. <laughs> I was like, God damn them! They trolled everybody. I was really holy. I was, I was like, they're trolling. They're trolling. Oh, they were telling the truth. I okay. asked for one thing because you all remember I was I was ready for disappointment. Yep. And so. I asked for one thing. There you were. The one, the one baseline was mm-hmm. don't kill Catherine Hahn. And they didn't. And so I'm fine. I actually well, really enjoyed it. They just, point. you know. <laughs> it's so not great. I mean, there, they there just were problems. committed her to but... purgatory. <laughs> Damn fair. I had a feeling they weren't going to kill her, but I got scared when they were fighting. And I was like, oh, oh, oh they're going to kill her. Oh, okay, they did it. Okay, woo. Because I was like, it didn't yeah. make sense. Why would you kill off such a great oh, character? Yeah. No, they, especially Marvel. after. Well, the good thing is, like, cause I know that... Listening to the last episode again, I know that Ray was like, I don't like how they're showing us her, her backstory so early. This could mean that we're not going to see her again. I do like how they're like, great, we're not going to fully sideline this character. Um, for those of you coming in, like, you know, we're definitely going to talk about more about it. But we get the whole ending of, hey, like, I'm going to give you a role as a nosy neighbor forever. And so you kind of like sideline her character. You don't get rid of her. You put her back on the shelf for now. And then, as soon as Warner, sorry, as soon as Marvel decides, hey, let's do something else with her, they'll bring her off of that shelf. But I do think it was really decided to not kill her all because that would have been a waste of a great character. So we see a Catherine Hahn, maybe in a property somewhere farther she'll, down she'll the lane. But up. of course, she'll show up somewhere. She might oh, yeah. show up at Doctor Strange. She was a proud Doctor favorite. Doctor Strange movie, probably. She might Very come back possible. to possible. Yeah, Very but possible. I mean, of course, like this episode starts with like you know picking up. Almost immediately off where we left off, we're like, hey, they're in the middle of the street fighting. Uh, and then we get, um, of course, the Captain Han and Scarlet Witch uh, <laughs> finger twist battles of hex forces and purple rays. And who's this new challenger comes to join the fight? <laughs> it's, 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 it's alternate skin uh, vision. Uh, DLC, DLC white vision. vision. DLC Vision, yes. I, DLC Vision just comes was, flying someone in. Someone else I heard call it that on on the internet, and I was like, yeah, no, that's actually incredibly oh, accurate. <laughs> you guys he are was, funny. Yeah, and I love how, like, I think his permanent, I felt like for DLC Vision, uh, Paul Bateman did a great job of, like, almost always scowling as as White Vision. <laughs> like, he never had any other face but a full scowl. I'm like, right. we get it. You're mean. You're just fully scowling in He's this role and so yeah. much. But it was fantastic to kind of we kind of get this this fight scene. We get this really amazing, uh, you know, fight scene. Of course, I'm skipping a lot of things, but um, my guess, I think the the fight scene for this specific episode was like really uh, interesting because you kind of had two two styles of fighting. 
You had Wanda's very emotional, uh, aggressive fighting, like just going all out, throwing beams after beams. And then you have Vision, who's like at first trading blows, but then you remember that Vision's kind of like he's he's a pacifist to a point. And somebody's like, you know what? This is why are we fighting? Can we have a full philosophical discussion in this library of all places? And I was like, this would be Vision's like fight in a library, having a philosophical discussion about like, hey, what is a person if not their memories? And then White Vision, true to who he is, is like, you know what? I'm going to stop fighting. We're just going to be like two Roombas and just like start floating around each other in a room, asking each other questions about if you replace a plank inside of Out paradoxing each other. Yes. At first, I'm like, is he gonna try to get him to like solve for like zero and explode? Like, what's oh what's his full cool meaning? Here? <laughs> like, because yeah, at some point, White Vision is like, yeah, because like, at some point he's like, give, me, he's like, explain more, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be some kind of math problem. He's gonna throw at the White Vision because he's fully calculating his head. Like, what do you mean a soul? But it was just really wild. Like, okay, this is his full fight of like, if you, um, you know, if you have this boat and you're replacing the inside of it but the outside's the same. Is it a new boat or is it the same boat? And it kind of is like this um, very abstract way of describing, hey, like I'm made of the memories of Vision. My body isn't real, but I have all his memories. You're his body and you have none of his memories. Which one of us is the real Vision? And you kind of have them like debating back and forth of like, well, I mean, I think I am, but the Vision's like, well, you're, you're missing a part of yourself. And then once Vision... Well, I'm sorry, once uh, Hex Vision bestows upon the physical Vision his memories from Wanda, we have this really wild scene of him just being like, I am Vision. And he just pieces out. And that's the end of that fight yeah. scene. I was he like, was am I just, coming back? I am. <laughs> like, I was, Where did I'm you like, go? I'm like, Vision, there's no other dialogue. Just, I am Vision. <laughs> and he, well, he just, he just, there gone. were theories of... If he's returning to the last place he remembers in his memories, which is Wakanda, so people were speculating if he's flying to Wakanda to kind of just st- where he died and then just kind of stand there and just process everything that happened. And I was like, that's an interesting concept to go back to the place where you died. That is going to be the beginning of your new life. I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised, but dang. Well, I mean, it's. Crazy. It, I feel like it, it's probably better for that situation to write it that way, um, as opposed to Vision being like, hey, I need to go talk to Wanda outside because this is absolutely her fault. I need to speak to her. I need, I need to speak to my wife slash girlfriend. Like, when did we get married? Like, I'm very confused how we escalated from here. Because if he has all of, the, all of the memories, he's probably up to date. So, and I, I love how they're like, you know what? Vision's probably going to have way too many questions for this scene for us to end this episode. He just needs to go somewhere. Because if, if Vision fully oh, walks out of that library and goes to Wanda, there's just he's he's going to ask her so many things, and we have just one episode left. Let's just have him fly somewhere else, and he'll process it in a different film. But for right now, he can't come back and talk that's to her. Much, like this is too much, much for us to that's, do. That's too much talking Aww. for Vision. Uh, like that's a oh, that's yeah. a whole also, like, they had, like a, also they yeah, and then and they never gave us an hour episode which would have been the time to have an hour episode but it's like okay marvel all right which are Thanks, 40 Agatha. minute episodes <laughs> it's agatha's fault yeah but of course i mean that's you know Nothing that vision kind of really. thing all along but of course you know that's <laughs> vision's whole like like you know that's how vision kind of solves his own thing but with the agatha versus wanda fight it gets really dark in a it way is. that i absolutely loved um, because again, like, and I think Ray, your sister sent you a really interesting article about this scene specifically, where Ag- like, well, I, th- I believe your, your sister was hinting at like Wanda is kind of like, it, it, it like opinion. how like Wanda's kind of like you know um, the typical white woman. She creates her own space where only the people that are related to her can be successful, whereas everyone else has an assigned role. And then in this scene where uh, Agatha gives them back their free will, instead of them all immediately wanting to get out, they start asking her, like, what can we do better? We want to, like, you know, be safe or we want to do this. And it's this really weird scene where they're like, oh, they're dependent on her in this really kind of, like, gross way of, like, we don't know what, what else to do because all we've known for 
you know, these couple of weeks is you and you've given up instructions. So it's just wild to kind of, you know, think about the, in that way of like, oh yeah, Wanda's a true villain, like in this moment, like she's a true, true villain. And even Ackham is like, hey, you're not a hero. Like, listen to these people. You are anything but a hero. You are not an Avenger. And to have these people just like try to call out to her. And then of course it goes from them being like, you know, hey, we want to help you to be like, oh, wait a minute. We don't have to listen to you. You're a terrible person and I'm upset at you. And like, why would you do this to us? And just like having that be the setting of the fight of Wanda dealing with like the verbal backlash of her just really like terrible choice that she's made. I loved how that was a part of the fight of like, hey, like, yeah, I'm fighting for my family, but also I made a dark mistake and now my puppet's all have their strings cut and they're all just yelling at me. That was fantastic. And she goes, Rah! and then she like hurts them again. And I'm like, dang. Yes, yeah, she does. You need to you need to control that. She does her patented back bend move when she's upset. She, oh my like, gosh, in the video game. She takes the top so- of her head and she touches the, the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the Basically planted. Neo ain't got shit on that. <laughs> she does a full back bend. Uh, but then, yeah, I mean, I, that was beautiful. And then also we get this, I mean, I get that Wanda has, you know, she's a quick learner, as we've seen. Um, but we get this really interesting uh, end of the fight where she has somehow learned through, I guess, looking and seeing how to make when? runes. <laughs> um, they don't explain it. And my thing is like, okay, I guess we're just going to chalk that up to her being the Chaos Phoenix, right? Uh, where she just innately knows how to do things. Like, I'm going to throw my, you know, hex out there and carve in the side of my hex dome it's runes not that I have not learned the words for. Well, I guess the thing is, like, she didn't study the runes, nor, like, would she have yeah, known, like, how to... It's not that that un- 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 <laughs> There are many of them. <laughs> when did she learn them them all? <laughs> We're talking about a show that is literally part of the plot line <laughs> is a woman used her magic to create... The, to create a fake hu- uh, create a fake sentient being and then they use some of her mm-hmm. magic to restart the sentient human being that was outside the thing i was like is is her magic just battery power now like this doesn't that's uh, what i was thinking this, this, my, so my only I'm point here is that, that. <laughs> the the runes are not an extra step for of disbelief for me personally, but uh, <laughs> maybe it was the probability magic. Where it's like, you know language. what? What's the one probability <laughs> where I know all the, the all the runes? <laughs> That's like me learning how to write Japanese after looking at one page. For real, look. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely it also depends. Like wild. sometimes it it's depends. Extra. Like what, which way it I, goes I too. No, you're and right. how does she know how to write it correctly? Because you yes. have to write it in the oh, order no. of the thing, or you mess up the spell. That was my thing too. I didn't say I was it was like, perfect. That just bothered me a lot. <laughs> I was like, when, when it was like an anime protagonist this? moment, like Naruto, like seeing something and then really confident the, the, the first Ooh. time and it's perfect it was those moments I'm gonna chalk it up the Shadow Clone Jutsu was like just this it was very basic yeah, just, <laughs> just, you know, just small movement Shadow you know Clone what? Jutsu her way into let's that. just chalk it all up to her probability magic where True. it allows her to like this is the one probability where I know this where I know this language pretty much from looking at it one time she she adjusted the probability, you know? She was like, great, this is that one timeline where I know it. And it's like, ha, 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 rude. I mean, you are you might be right, Marlon, because at the same time, how did she, how was she able to, in the and I'm going straight to the end, like the very last scene, yeah, how was she I able to, to put two to two together and do the whole Doctor <laughs> Strange thing? Because I'm like, he didn't tell her that, did he? he? She was just like, oh, if I astral project myself and read that book, I will be uh, more knowledgeable. And I'm like... How did you? Well, I mean, from the book. My thinking is like, it, yeah, I think it came from the. I think she probably either read a few chapters of the, of the Dark Cold and then learned, okay, I'm gonna like astral project myself and do it that way. I think like that's most likely where it comes from is she read the book and learned it from there, and you know now she can she do that. She took the book first Doctor of all. Strange. We, we, we didn't did. even talk about how she it's took her, the book. Her, she took the <laughs> that Dark Cold. That was the thing. I had a question. The Dark Cold is. I have a whole hers, thing about the Dark Cold, and I'm gonna wait to talk about that. I think it comes back to the theory that it's, you know, a mixture of Mephisto slash Shathan combined because, I mean, we got the Chaos Phoenix, so I feel like they have no qualms with combining 
two different things into one being to like make the plot work. But I do think, um, I think like one of the more tear jerker moments was when like Wanda's like, I need to, I need to close shop. And so you kind of see her start to slowly close the hex walls and she fully is aware that my kids, you know, aren't real and neither is my husband, you know, and she has to go back home and she puts her boys to bed for the last time and, you know, tells them I love them and they're like their vision and her know what's going to happen. They don't know what's happening. Exactly. And of course, you know, Vision's there and he, you know, and he tells her that he loves her and then the world ends. And then like, yeah, that's super sad. But then we get a dose of reality when she has to walk, do the walk of shame out of the center of her town that's to the, the outskirts. And everybody just just gives her this the just dog eyes are just like, oh, this son of a, uh, oh, look, there she is. There she go. There she go. She's like, you better put your hood up. And she starts to <laughs> Starts walking around. I'm like, you deserve every ounce of those death glares. You deserve every ounce of them being like, fuck you. Like, I lost so much time and I felt, and, 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 and they told her, we feel your pain when you go to sleep. We don't get to sleep. We had to like deal with your pain 24 seven nonstop. It doesn't end for us. So like, yeah, again, I, my wondering is that even if Wanda does, you know, become a part of the next big movie, I don't think she's going to be, like, seen on, like, the flyer for the Avengers. Like, I don't think they're going to have her be a part of, like, the public look. Because once those people leave that town and they start telling people, that's the woman that held me hostage for a couple days. Like, that's going to ruin the entire image of the Avengers. So I don't think she's going to be a part of the Avengers for quite some time. Well, I mean, this is, like, straight three-ish for her in the Avengers, so... I mean, maybe Strike 2. Well, no, because she was Ultron, like, and then she blew up Lagos. So that's Strike 1. And then, strike 2. And then, and then she so, yeah, this is definitely Strike, strike 3. three. She's not, she not, she not going to be in the Avengers no more. <laughs> Which well, is fine. She was an Avenger she, when she was working with Ultron. That's not really fair, but I think. She, but in that <clears> first <throat> scene, they were firing back at S.H.I.E.L.D. and shooting them and, like, blowing them up and shooting and, like, actively being a part of, like, a, a rebel group up until... They I like mean, were like at she was like in Hydra. Oh. yeah. She also was in Hydra, so like literally they have her connected to a program. Even though she's not there no more, that's still and, gonna be on her file. Yeah. And she girl. also calls the Hulk to run into an African town and destroy it. Mm. I mean, she might Strike be moving three, to Wanda, the. So she, what I liked about the, all of this is that they have put, they kind of have said it. They were hinting it. They have put Wanda in this position where she is this is make or break time for this character she's either going full villain or she's going to get it together in Doctor Strange and I don't I'm sure the kids are going to have something to do with it because she might go crazy if she can't figure out how to get those kids back and and at least they're alive because uh, we skipped over Monica's whole arc of uh, of uh, her, her meeting Ralph Boner and uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting to it. We're getting to it. Well, I was waiting like, for the Monica part. I love it. <laughs> Freaking Marvel. Oh my gosh. I mean, with the um, Ralph Boner thing, I'm chalking that up to being a witness protection and just changing her name, and that guy being an idiot and just picking Boner. Yeah. Because yeah. I think, because I, I think, like that's the person that Jimmy was looking for, and he's like, I'll yep. pick a name, Boner. That kind of answered my question. And who was the missing person? This it's Ralph. Guy. Ralph Boner. And I was just like, oh, okay. But <laughs> at the same time, oh, getting wow. to uh, getting to Monica. So the last time we saw her, Ralph or Fietro had her hostage because of his super speed. But at this point, you know, she's watching everything from the window and she's just like, what is going on? I mean, I he was speed. moving fast because he prevented point, her from the door. At a certain point, though, she fully, like, like grappled him, and he just didn't even try to do anything at that point. <laughs> like, when she took his well, picture I, I think because I th- he was really it. shocked. He, I, I think because he thought she was a normal human, and, again, she's, she's not even, like, the normal superhero type. Yeah, hero. Super human She's beyond that, and so the fact that she probably grabbed him, he probably felt everything. 
like the energy and the strength and he was just like i i'm not gonna die i'm just gonna play dead basically but she um basically disarmed him and you know took him down and then ran outside and this is the part where i was like okay i have been anti hayward the entire season they went over the top for this <laughs> but this for hayward. this scene they went he's too gonna far. shoot the kids he was going to shoot the kids. Asshole. What'd you expect? No. He no. just... They man, went I was full like, cartoon villain. Like, it didn't have to be that that serious. It didn't like, have to. Well, Hayward was a bad guy. You were going to shoot some kids. But they decided to like, no, no, we got to take this extra. We got we to make him a super, like a super comic book villain. I have, I have, I have a statement, which is the... This, to me, okay. feels like the only reason he did that. And it's because he... Otherwise, honestly, he wasn't a villain. Um... Uh, like he wasn't the bad guy of the story the without, man. without doing without that moment in time because if you think about literally everything else that happened in that show right the city should actually have like revered him he he brought in some super powered like machine that he you know he shouldn't have had but he figured out how to mm-hmm. make it to come help solve and save this city the people of westview would have been like oh my gosh hayward's the greatest person of all time screw wanda the, she's horrible he saved us from her basically mm-hmm. like but because he went and he tried to shoot the kids now we hate him forever and like i feel like that's that was the only that was like without him doing that there's this was going on a totally needed. different way potentially he was mean to monica that was my was thing the minute, the minute he was mean to monica episodes go i was like i hate this man what is he how dare I he think- Yes, he was a villain, but he was already going to get his comeuppance because he broke the Sokovia Accords by bringing Vision back online. Like, he would have already gotten in trouble for that thing. Oh, yeah. Like, right. hey. well, like, that he was, he was right, like, though. If he did all that and it saved the day, he was totally right. They would have just they would have just smacked his hand and said, keep doing what you're doing. Like, <laughs> Right. But. Oh, man. You had to shoot them kids. And then you, you shot did. Monica because she stepped in front. But luckily, because of her superpowers, thank goodness, we got to see how she was able to transform and let the bullets go through her to save the kids. And then the kids were like, she you're cool. She removed all its kinetic energy. Right. It was pretty cool. And then Darcy was in here for like two seconds. <laughs> it cracked me up. She had to, she had to <laughs> that, was, that, like, that was a, a very good imitation uh Evie. that was on point do that again that was really on point i can't because my voice went higher than that th- th- that i was trying to and then it was too late and i was like oh okay <laughs> once in a lifetime so try again was, tomorrow put that into your imitation folder for like vo work because that was fantastic you. cat dennings for evening in the folder y'all that was good <laughs> but yeah like i mean yes. i think that yeah i think shooting the kids was definitely like oh we don't need that but the kids definitely did um speed pulled a uh, a fox quicksilver move by stealing a hat from one of the guards which was a little like nod to quicksilver from the fox series of like all right y'all y'all really playing this close to the chest with this cute. quicksilver nonsense <laughs> getting on my nerves nostalgia but yeah. it's cute. I really like those kids. And, you know, they held their Come own back. for what they could do. And I was really proud. I was, I, was, I was literally really proud of them. I was like, look at them t- handling yeah. business, you know? Yeah. And, you know, eventually with Wanda fighting and everything, Monica, at the end of everything, when everybody was hating on Wanda, her and Monica had a moment of understanding. Mm. So I'm kind of hoping... That will have. I, I see your pain. Of... My pain is your pain. That right. Was... We're pain I feel you. I, I feel you too. That was a Good luck. Though. Get out of here. Okay. They fly away quickly for the arrest. That you. scene <laughs> right. was a stretch, and I feel like I feel like everything about Monica choosing to like connect with Wanda. I get it, but I feel like some of it's kind of a stretch of like they won't know what you sacrifice. They've sacrificed everything right. by being mentally right. manipulated. I feel like it's it doesn't equate Monica. You can't tell Wanda. Monica's hey, still hurt. Monica's still hurt. It's been three weeks. But I think what she meant. She didn't get to it, say bye to her. In mom. my in my defense, she's still hurt. I feel mm. like she wasn't referring to the citizens. I feel like she was referring to the the outside people. Like no, who she's referring to, to the her. citizens because this was directly like was after f- them giving like Wanda like dagger eyes like Wanda walks over and sees, oh, yeah, and sees Monica and she's like they won't ever understand what you sacrificed but that, yeah that line did feel tacky and it's like 
you could have just given her like a, a knowing nod and it would have right. gotten enough across. But you saying that really made the scene feel like, do you not understand? Like you have superpowers from this. So yay for right. you. But that other person whose sister was sick who and he's been here this whole time, he hasn't checked on them. He's probably going through a lot of emotional like turmoil. Like how do I get from here back home? Like, I, I, right. like where's my wallet? Like, I mean, I feel like there's just a lot of emotional They're trauma right. that I feel like was glazed over. Like, hey, your imaginary family, they will understand what you sacrificed by giving them back to the imagination machine that is chaos magic. Still Disney, Marlon. You remember where it all comes They're from? They're gonna go all Disney. go join. They're all gonna join Hydra. Let's just let's just say that, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, they're like we'll Wanda. See. Yeah, she's enemy. Well, where do I we sign like, up? I feel like this is definitely going to like cause like a a Tony Stark kind of uh, moment of like mm-hmm. people being anti Wanda and anti Avengers if she tries to join them at some point. Anti mutants. Anti mutants. Anti mutants. We'll see. I, I mean, this this isn't going to help Professor X's cause. Um, but also, <laughs> to like switch gears, Marvel has been doing a great job at um, fanning, not fanning, but like just letting theories just kind of be there and then just like, like hinting yeah. at them and then just never capitalizing on them. Um, they did a, you know, not so kind of, I mean, they did a kind of subtle hint that maybe uh, we would get Mr. Fantastic as the guy who is an astrophysicist that she knows. We, they they kind of did the Mephisto thing. We, they kind of did the Quicksilver all of, thing. All of these things were built up by us, except for Paul Bettany oh, no, no. and uh, the guest appearance. That was all him. He's, that was on he's him. with Joe. I was really mad yeah. about that. He, 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 he <laughs> owned up to like... the joke somewhere online. <laughs> that wasn't cool. That was not cool. I feel like I they was, knew what they hopes. were doing, and they were, like, really good at, like, we're not going to give them everything. We're going to give them hits where they can, like, kind of, like, follow, but, like, we're not going to fully commit to it. And then, of course, we get one of my um, predictions, which is, like, a scroll does appear. And I was like, ah, the scroll. I, when I saw this, I was, this, like, I was yeah, like, what is Ray like, thinking right now when I know, saw like, the I scene? I want to know what Ray was thinking. Because I, I was like, I, I hinted that scrolls were coming. I don't think you want me to actually I feel like Ray was like, damn scrolls. No, I do, Ray. Literally, when that happened, no. I was like, pause. I wonder what Ray's going to say about this. No, I'm gonna ruin oh, no. something. I don't know if you want me to say what? it. Why? Say it, Ray. What do you want to ruin? Ray. Ray's hot take. Three, two, right. one. If, hold on. If you're listening and you don't want the future of the MCU ruined, you need to skip the next 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> are y'all ready? No, yes, I'm, I'm ready. ready. So, I, this is what I was thinking. I'm pretty sure she just got napped by the scrolls. Monica Rambeau from this point forward will be a super scroll. Mark my words. Two years from now, we're gonna be I like, "Oh be my surprised. gosh, she's a scroll!" This was the moment they took her. I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, she got abducted. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but maybe. But I, I thought they were I like mean, really good at hinting, like, "Hey, like, you know, uh, know. Nick Fury wants to talk to you." Oh, but I, those were key was words. It was, uh, it's not those Nick Fury. Words, they're though. asking to see her. You, you literally just said they Disney's said really friend. good at misdirections. In, over That's the true. Show. That <laughs> and true. she said, "Up." Uh, Dang. Like in the space. That is I'm true, pretty yeah. sure I'm We're right. We're really good at it. <laughs> That'd be dope. I mean, like, Ray, you've been saying that, like, yo, they have all the I mean, settings and they've for the already announced to happen. And they've already announced Secret Invasion is going to be something right. in, that, in that thing. So we know it's coming. So I'm not just, like, making this up yeah. out of nowhere. But, uh, yeah. And then, I, who knows? I, it this was a nice little sneak if that's make, what they do. Know, if, I think they, if they did that, Ray, there's a version that, of that story. would be genius. There's a version like a of that story lies. where, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, I can't remember who the Queen Carol? Scroll is and Carol. I think Queen, oh. Queen Scroll in the comic books, I think, was Spider Woman. And then yes. in the, yes. one of the cartoons, it was Captain Marvel. And so mm-hmm. in the MCU, it being Photon would be kind of fun. So I, I like the And idea. she's in the next she, phase. So that she has the direct sense. connection to Carol Danvers and Shield and Sword. So yep. she'd be the one. She also was the she last one to be. see Monica and Vision. So if the Avengers go to find her, be like, yo, what happened to our, our two team members? She could infiltrate the Avengers for the scrolls if that is where they're going to go down. So Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, be viable. I feel like maybe that's why that scene was what it was. It wasn't to just... I guess again, we're still on WandaVision, the show of illusion. So where it could be, Mystery. yeah, she's gonna go see Nick Fury. Yeah, really, she's getting zapped by a skull and she's gonna be prisoner for however long, and she's gonna be one of the first ones, you know? Because we again, I think we had this discussion of 
it's been five years. What have the the scroll? I think Ray was the one that said it. Like the scrolls just started to like sneak in and just started to just be people uh-huh. during this time, and you know people got snapped back, and it's like, oh I'm no, this wrong, person's but... back. You know, I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do to the original person. I might have to like kill them or like hide them so I can still maintain that identity. And mm-hmm. so knowing that Monica was snapped, and I don't know. Like, maybe that's just the perfect situation. Like, I don't know if they know that she has powers, but that would be brilliant on Marvel's part to already start putting breadcrumbs towards that way since Secret Invasion doesn't come on for a while. So, mmm. It's like the... This is like a great nod to how the original uh, Marvel movies had little scenes of just... Oh, okay, yeah, this is looking like this. And then we don't think about this scene for two years. And that actually was, like, the big... Like, it slowly built to, like, something huge. So I I think Ray might be right on that. So I'm kind of excited, but dang. Be good writing material. But again, like, I feel like all of it also comes down to what happens in the next, uh, you know, project for Marvel, which is uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Because um, I feel like we've definitely been focusing more so on Westview. Now we have another show that's going to show us not only what the Falcon, which children have been up to since post snap, but uh, we also get a chance to see what's this world look like without Cap. You know, we already know that the government has their own Captain America, whereas Captain America has said Falcon's the new Captain America. Um, we also get a chance to see kind of what Hayward was saying was that, yo, in the government, we're kind of wary of all folks who came back from the snap. So now we get a chance to see what does the world look like, not from, like, the Spider-Man, but, like, just, like, the government's point. Like, what do they look like? We get a chance to see, like, what's happening, what's been going on, how the government is dealing with this, you know, placement Captain America. Are they using him to attack Hydra? Are they using them to, like, fan the flames of Hydra more so they get a bigger theater for the Captain America? So I'm looking forward to seeing what that means. And also, maybe we, if we also get another scroll-ish scene or, uh, you know, something of that line we might also start seeing them like continuing to pivot the scroll point of view or maybe they even make a comment about westview so i'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to connect these worlds and how they're going to push yeah. this whole new thing because again we don't know what's happening outside of westview so now we get a chance to see it i know it's 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 a lot and uh knowing that in spider-man the far not hard or far from home right where they, the last scene with Nick Fury and like the video footage, I think they mentioned Westview or they mentioned a city in New Jersey. Like that's all we got. So this is months ahead. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still interested in where is Falcom and the Winter Soldier taking place? Like, are we talking about months later? Are we talking like yeah. way, way far? I wouldn't be surprised if we kind of jumped time a bit. Um, I feel like the show is going to be just a modern version of Lethal Weapon, but just Marvel style, <laughs> because Bucky is the old man. And that is a reference. Falcon is the, <laughs> Falcon is the, the you know, I don't have plans. I'm going to do what I'm going to do to get things done, but I mm-hmm. secretly have a whole chip on my shoulder type thing, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm looking forward to it because, again, that goes back to my question of what what has Hydra been doing for the past five years? And... Like, have they grown? Like, and then there are people who, you know, Bucky has been alive for so long. He's like the oldest, youngest person who's out in this, who's in the superhero game right now. The hottest old man out there right now. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Cap. You used to, but Bucky took that mantle too. Both of them took that mantle of Captain America. Um, So it's, it's going to be interesting to see him even having like, well, Hydra used to be like this, and then Hydra's not like this now, so he's going to, like, recognize those patterns, and then, you know, Falcon's going to be like, well, in my experience, you just do this. It's just going to be a lot of tension, and I'm for it, but as far as, like, the plot, I have no idea where this is going at all, but I'm excited. And, you know, Wanda's out in the middle of nowhere. I know, I knew they filmed in New Her Zealand. tiny that, home. Eaming, that was in New Zealand. I can tell. They filmed that one scene in New Zealand. And they might have used special effects, but that footage is New Zealand. And that's because of this. So, 
I was really happy when I yeah, saw the little house. I was like, right? Endor behind her house. Yes. She was yeah, so we're both wearing Wuthering shirts, listeners, in case you're not watching. Forest okay, so like, this is not a visual medium we're going to be putting this out. <laughs> Because of this, says nothing else. Because of this, Lord of the Rings. We need to have, like, Lord of the Rings gang tattoos, Amy, one day. Jesus um, putting it out there. Um Gang tattoos? That was super yes. serious. Right on yes. your forehead, you just have elvish. Like, like, uh, like, a little, like a little tree <laughs> under my eye or some shit. And elvish or something. You have, you have something in elvish ready. Right one here. ring to rule them all. <laughs> For life. <laughs> too much, too much. Wheel it back, wheel it back. Okay, okay. So yeah, Wanda's out there reading a dark hole, which, again, I kind of want to touch upon. This book has jumped on so many different types of Marvel media. You know, it started in Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. The best season, Ray. The best yes. season when the dark hole finally appeared. That was yep. the season when the Ghost Rider appeared. And, you know, it looked completely different. In the end, yeah. Ghost Rider had to take the book back it to said hell. Dark hold. <laughs> yeah, it said it in like aerial font though. So yep. like, <laughs> and then he took it to hell. But then on the Runaways, you know, you have Morgan Le Fay. She had the book. You watched in that, that series? Really I did not watch. I just I, I looked it up. Say, I was like, okay. I remember it was in Ages of Shield, but then I read that it was in that show too. I didn't watch the Runaways. That show. So I was like, oh, that book was in the there too. For me. <laughs> Looked a little different. So then they were like, well, we're not saying they're canon, but like, if it had to, did Agatha like swipe, swipe or no swipe, and took that book back, They've, or did she I, always just have it? I think this spider. Oh yeah, no, Agatha. Maybe she took it from the witches. Yeah, like Agatha mm-hmm. probably had it in this universe because I think mm-hmm. they, they're they're this next Spider-Man movie is clearly proving that they're basically trying to say every Marvel universe has, uh, mm-hmm. every Marvel universe is a multiverse of the MCU, like True. that's ever existed. So these Age of the Shield. Darkhold and Runaway Darkholds can just be Darkholds and other multiverses. And this is true. And, and this kind of confirms Marlon's go. Nexus theory. It exists of, in every time. Right. But no, I mean, yeah, I agree. Also, like, I'm liking how they are ending these Marvel films with the hero being kind of portrayed as a villain. I mean, Far From Home literally ended with like, hey, I'm Mysterio, Spider-Man killed me, here's his face. And then... Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, me and Amy screamed in the theater evil. like... <laughs> so now I'm like, yo, you have two of these Avengers that are now, like, been put in the what? villain queue. Like, are they going to, like, is, like, Falcon and Winter Soldier going to be them? Like, hey, we're kind of like a fringe hero well, Bucky. vigilante group. Because, again, yes, Bucky is also wanted. But now he's, like, well, associated with mm. Falcon. So it's like, are y'all, like, vigilantes? And so, like, how does I mean, this work for the government-wise? I mean, honestly, Marlon, the last time... Before Thanos showed up in Infinity War, they were still on the run. All like him and Falcon. I mean, Bucky was hiding out in Wakanda, and Falcon was on the run with Captain America and uh, Black yeah. Widow. They never, they never got that resolved. They had to step in because of Thanos, and so now, not only did they get snapped, so like we're gonna say what over five years, five or so years have passed. How did they get? And I think we kind of discussed this too. Like the re- the reason why Wanda is still a fugitive is because technically she was like already on the wanted list immediately because of she they had proof of her what she did in Lagos. But as far as um, Falcon, uh, at least for Falcon, they know that he was just on the run. So you know he's on the list, but he's not as high. But then Bucky, he's high on the list too. So it's like all these uh. Super vigilante superheroes having their own shows right now. Because, I mean, after this show, you have Loki. We already know about that dude. <laughs> what is going on? So, that is interesting to think it's about. the Wild Ones franchise. The Marvel Wild Marvel. Ones franchise leading and it's saving, like but still making these great decisions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think, like, with the Thanos thing, it's interesting to see, like, if Bucky and, uh, you know, Falcon were able to be like, hey, like, we were a part of Cap's last hurrah saving the universe. It'd be interesting to see if that has anything to come into play. I mean, we we know that with Wanda, Monica is aware, hey, her and Captain Marvel defeated Thanos. Like, we know that's something they talked about. But, of course, you know, Wanda's dealing with the whole, like, Sokovia thing. So that's why she's, you know, still on there. And it's, it's like, interesting, like, hey, if Cap is good to go, does that mean Falcon's good to go? Because the only reason why Falcon will be wanted is because of the thing that happened with Cap. But Cap 
mm-hmm. save the world. And so, of course, we know that Bucky, you know, has been in part of Hydra for a while, so he's a little bit more murkier than than Falcon. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting to see like how they were able, if they were able, to navigate that because Wanda didn't come back into society right after this. Like she went right to go find Vision. So it's interesting to see like how these two, if they decided to go back and say, "Hey, Shield, we want to do Cap's work. Can you tell the government we're doing it?" To see if Shield still has that pull, or if they're like, "No, we're going to side with the government and get." this other super soldier guy. So again, it's going to be wild to see how they, how they like navigate this for their movie because their movie is going to be them doing with the government almost directly. It looks like. Right. It looks like it's regulated and it's more like, I don't know if they signed the Sokovia records. Cause it looks like they are working for the government, which is what they, the government wanted. But at the same time, I'm wondering how long is it going to take till they decide mm, we're going to have to break some rules, especially with Falcon. He likes to break rules. And this is why I said it's like Lethal Weapon. <laughs> the Marvel version. <laughs> hey, but we'll see. Otherwise, I will say I think this ending was good. You know? I definitely was like, I didn't have Same. my expectations up high. And I wasn't disappointed. I'm like, great. It was an ending, you know? It it, it fit. It fit what it was supposed to do. It supported the next show coming after it. You know? I was like, you know what? I'm pleasantly happy. I'm glad it didn't flop at the end. It kept the momentum, added something new to the universe. It also gives you something more to kind of like look at and think about. So yeah, I'm, I was, I was happy with 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 how it ended. So good job, Marvel. Kevin Feige's leading well, the way. I did say I wanted to quote one of you, and I'm, it, the person I was referring to was Ray. I was gonna say eatings are hard. Um, I too didn't have my expectations high. I was not upset about my theories, but I felt like for the episode itself. Like, scenes of, like, when Monica was like, they don't know how much you sacrifice, or, like, how dragged out the fighting was, like, for the Wanda fight, I felt like it was a little too dragged out, because I feel like if they had cut, like, a minute or two, then we could have used that two minute for something else that could have, I don't know, built on something. So, a lot of it felt rushed, which, again, I was, uh, that was the thing I was upset. I was like, so if this would have been like a full hour, I think I would have felt a little bit better, but everything felt so rushed and uh, just like slapped on. And it's like, we're just going to accept it like with the runes. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to accept it because of time. And I'm like, I get that. I get that with the format and stuff, but there was just some things I was like, oh, I just wish some of the pacing and the timing was a little bit better maybe revealed a little bit more on how was she able to do things or like the motive the motive behind why agatha was doing things like i think we talked about was her motivation because she wanted wanda's power like she was doing all this just to steal wanda's power and i was like that made sense but like but for why so she could just stay alive forever like there's questions. Has, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot there that, at the end of the day, it's an old Marvel trope of the bad guy was just an evil McEvil. Right, and, and I was like, I don't know. Were. I felt kind of this show had such great characters, and I felt like, is that the reason why? Because I was like, maybe they'll have like a a a little Easter egg of a bigger reason because that was my whole theory is Agatha's doing this for a bigger reason because she either glimpsed in the future or she has connections with Mephesto or whatever but the fact that she was just like I'm taking your power because I want it I was just like I mean this is not a big enough motivation for me I don't think that was the reason I really feel I hope that wasn't the reason I don't understand what her reason was though I don't think she stated one which is the thing I think she she didn't like, fine. like yeah, because... like I don't think she had like a a big like villainous monologue of I've no. been here for eons looking for you. No, I think and... in the moment, I think in the moment she's like I'm taking advantage of the fact that I found you, and I'm taking your power. I think it was like I like I sensed something was here. I came to get that power. I saw it was you, and I decided to do some actions in between. So I think, you know, maybe she had some connection with you know, Doctor Strange or whatever, but I feel like in this moment, she was a villain taking advantage of, like, oh, I was the first one here. And also, you you, you put up this bubble so no one else could, like, come behind me, so I'm going to do all I can to, to, one, figure out what this power is, two, figure out where it comes from, and three, take it. 
So yeah, yeah. like I don't think it was like a grandiose it was so thing. Simple, it was though. like I, was I just, just want like, something. But okay, but, I but guess also, that's okay. But I wish but, it was a little bit more. But I mean, in, in when she d- declares that she's a Scarlet Witch, she says like, "You are basically too powerful for this, and I, and you can't ha- a you can't handle it, and b if you do, something bad's gonna happen." And she mm-hmm. knows whatever this is, so right. she ha- has the foresight. She's like, well, but I, I believe I can handle it. And if I handle it, whatever's going to happen won't happen if she has it. That's the but, impression I got from that conversation yeah. that they had. That's true. Evie's right. Because she later on, she goes, you don't know what you've done. You don't know what you've unle- un- unleashed. And I was like, is this where we're getting some motive or something? And then it ended. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> well, it's, it's a teaser. It. It's meant to tease you and give you like, hey, uh. something's coming. Because again... If you can imagine, it, like, the little bit of magic that pulled Agatha there was the town of Westview when it was first starting up. Now, Monica fully going all chaos Phoenix, she's like, you, you've pretty much put, like, a, a, like a, a little, like, tag on a map. Like, you've announced your presence as this Scarlet Witch to the universe, to the world. Like, you've put up a flare and something's going to come because you've done this. So I think that's what she was saying. It's like, yo, you, you, you did this thing by defeating me that has fully called someone to you. So, and I think that was the hint of like, great, we've established something's coming. You'll have to wait to find out what it is. <laughs> it was just so anime to me. I mean, come on. They had a whole Itachi's uh, genjutsu moment of like, you think you are in control, but you're in my illusion. And then it kind of Jujutsu Kaisen, you're in my domain expansion, aka the ruins decide who at which is in charge. And I'm I'm doing so many anime references, but that's exactly what was running through my mind. She, she and I was like, it was happening so fast. I was like, wait a minute, we're having a Naruto moment. Oh, we're having Jujutsu Kaisen moment. Wait, wait. And then Wanda's doing, you know, what she learned back at her. I was like, okay, cool. Okay, that's fine. You know, and even with the ending, I was okay with, um, even for Vision. I was, I think out of the whole ending, uh, I was really happy about Vision because I was just like, please don't kill Vision. That, that, that would have, I, I would have, I wouldn't have been okay. But the fact that there's not only hope, but that moment, in fact, it was like, my two favorite moments this whole episode was the two Visions having their talk, and then... That whole scene that Vision had with Wanda because it confirmed my theory of how she was able to make him. As and Aiming pointed out last time, you know, it looked like he she absorbed something from his dead corpse. And I was like, well, what was the stone that connected them? The mind stone. And so a piece of her is still in her that she was able to create a replicate uh, exact vision. And I just and then that yeah. scene and the way he died, I was just like, that was a great scene. I cried, for real. Yes. I want to I wanna amend that thought that I had. I, I think either it was then or when she killed him. Yep. Those two chances. I agree. I agree. Because you think about when, this epi- when these episodes came on and they showed certain scenes outside of the show, like scenes from Infinity War or Age of Ultron, that was a reason of why they showed it. And so... It made me be think. It was making me think, like, why did they reshow the scene where she was touching his dead head, or why were they showing the scene of when she was destroying the Mind Stone? And I was like, there's a piece of her that made that was able to make him like exactly how he was, and that that gave me a little uh, closure because I was just like, how the hell did she create a vision? I, the whole. But yeah, it's hard to be a TV writer. Uh, that's another thing because honestly I wasn't a big fan of that line because it just felt very exposition for like one Which of the line? last the I I no vision you are a construct that I made out of the mind stone or like it was like the exact sentence just uh. felt so expositiony yes. I was just like yes all right I don't know how else I could have yes. done that I don't know how else I would have done that maybe that was just really hard but. I don't know uh, if that's yeah. the way I would have done Endings that. Endings are but... hard. This dialogue was very. This dialogue was very funky in this episode. Yes, I, I it agree. Was. It the was. dialogue like the was. That's they... why there was more action, Ray. There was way more action because they knew that. 
<laughs> well, I feel like it's because they wrote so many things and they had to answer all of them. And the main thing they had to yeah. answer is how was she able to create him from Jarvis to regular body parts? You know, that scene where you see her just recreate this Jarvis construct and then his body, they had to explain that. Because, you know, great, like, she didn't bring him back. She didn't, like, resurrect his body. We've talked about how she can't resurrect things. So it's like, how are we going to answer that? And their answer was, well, I was touched by the Mind Stone. So I was able to, like, memorize how to create your body parts, you know? And it's like, Again, well, I don't ability. think that's, I mean, Ca- I get you writing that down. I get you writing that down, but like, did you try saying it out loud? Because that's, that, right. that, that's a strike. I, I right. think that's only literary. because she's the phoenix can she do that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's that's probably, what? Where? Huh? If it's, huh? if it's ever a question, the answer is probability magic. That's that's how we. That's how it's the Phoenix Force. It's a probability. You're right, Marlon. The Phoenix Force. You're right. The chaos, the right. chaos Force. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it for now. On. The, the chaos, chaos Force. The Chaos Force. force. That looks like a phoenix. You're no, right. It looks like a, right. it looks like a crowd. Is what it looks like. It's that. Uh, and, oh yeah, you're right. It looks like a crown. But then if you kind of put the crown's things down, it's a phoenix. Yeah. What a coincidence. It's crazy that her it's crown true. looks like eerily like Magneto's helmet, but that's you know. No one's really talking Did about you guys that. see that her outfit looked so similar to Michael Fassbender's Magneto outfit from th- that that's, franchise? That's gotta be intentional. It's gotta be intentional. That has to There's be There's no way that's not intentional. Same material, well, same We didn't daddy, watch so. the other movie. <laughs> but hey, that's not her father. That's another dimension. Because but I'm just, just saying. Because Marvel couldn't leave it alone. They had to they do something They couldn't stop new. trolling. Because Marvel was like, you know what? We know that we would say that this is her dad for like literally decades, but let's just retcon all of that in this one little comic and just really make it hard for ourselves now. <laughs> she has her daddy's outfit. Alone, Marvel. You could have left it alone. No one was caring about her parentage, but it's like, no, 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 no. We're going to make it even weirder. <sighs> Marvel. I respect you, though. I respect you. But, uh, I still yeah. don't like Scarlet Witch, it was but good. I liked how they did the show. Where'd that come from? <laughs> That was random. That was random. That was a good show. I, thought, I was hoping to show. I was Wait, hoping to show. Wait, all this time you were like, "I'm not a big Scarlet Witch fan. I've never been since No More Mutants." So I was just like, can, "That's fair." Can you get it together? That's like, fair. you just literally wiped out an entire race of, of, of like an entire species yeah. of things. Like, I, Wanda, what are you doing? <laughs> you're right. It's you're unfortunate. Right, you're right. They really play our character as. Um, so I was it's just, it's just like always on the edge of just being really uh unwise with her power. Like I feel like her character in the comics has always been like, yo, we gotta be really careful on Wanda because if we like bump into her, she'll just be like, No more feet and, and, which, they, and they ain't nobody got yeah. feet down. <laughs> so just, which 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 I'm not a which at the end of the day, I'm also not a fan of because it's that whole like uh, she's a woman. It, exactly. Women super superheroes, all yeah. all of their powers are emotional and yada yada yada. Like I, I don't get why that's <laughs> Jean a, Grey in the right. cartoon uh, Storm. Um, mm-hmm. The there's mm-hmm. a, the the Hulk. Uh, she, she Hulk has a whole <laughs> thing going on now where she somebody can't get angry anymore or something. Yeah, Rogue was always crazy. Uh, anyway, the. So I was hoping they would make me I like just her touch because somebody, sugar. she could. Uh, by the end of the show, I was like, they're gonna do a whole show about Wanda. She will we'll like, will like Wanda by the end of this, right? Uh, I mean, because she's a villain. You, uh, yeah, she so, needs to be the antihero that we know from I guess the beginning of Age of Ultron. Like I feel yeah. like we're back to that Wanda of like, no, I'm just surviving, and if I hurt people. Then so be it. And I but now I'm going to own up to my so power now. I, if I have to break the multiverse like, to get my kids Wanda. back, I'm going to break the multiverse right. to get my kids back. So. And exactly. I think uh, that's where Catherine Hahn's going to make her return. Because again, in the comics, they got to bring back Agatha. That's like, we need you to like do a Professor X mind shield over this woman real quick because she needs to forget about mind all these shield. things she's done. Yeah, she like fully puts up like mental blocks where she just forgets about these like little dark moments she's had, and so maybe we get Catherine Hahn and maybe get you know P- Professor X since he's great at uh, <laughs> blocking his people. It'd be, from it'd be James McAvoy so if it's in Professor I X. I know they just just bring him over just and bring Fassbender over. Just bring those two. Nobody else. We'll I see. just want those two. I feel like they will. In some capacity, they were the favorite. Because I mean, Ryan people Reynolds. are talking about who's going to be Wolverine, and I'm like, we're we're not th- we're not ready yet. Zach Efron, let's, let's we're not ready yet. Shut we're still up, recovering <laughs> from Logan. Ew, ew, my Have ears. Have you not seen Zach Efron in his latest movie, Homeboy's Cut? 
he could be but Wolverine. can he act like Logan? No. Oh, no. not at all. No. 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 <laughs> Don't. Full package. Full package. I know. Not, Say, not the two, package. Two X Men actors. Like I'm very. I'm going to be very on and very just like. I'm going to be judgy as hell. Is whoever's going to play Logan and who's ever going to play Storm? Because I'm like, if y'all can't get it together the tenth time, I give up. <laughs> You never hey, liked I give Jackman? up. <laughs> I'm sticking with the animated series for Who's life. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, you're Hugh talking Jackman about Storm. Fantastic. You're talking about Storm. They Which Storm? Get storm. So, yeah. no, all right. of the Storms. No, you're, right. you're all the Storms. <laughs> you like Halle Berry's what Storm? storm? <gasps> she Every was, Storm to ever be cast. She was average. Hey, Kat, she it was, was like a nice placeholder. Hey, Kat, you know, hey, Kat, just... Hey, Hey, Kat. I, gotcha. I completely hey, Kat. agree. She was a placeholder and the other chick, Alexandra Schiff... We don't want to talk about that girl. No. No. Well... Yeah, no. she didn't know. We don't like no. it. Hey, like Kat. none of this, none of hey, this Kat. is working. Hey cat. Hey cat. Hey I'm Kat. afraid to answer. Hey cat. What? What happens when lightning hits a toad? <laughs> the same thing that happens when it hits everything else. <laughs> oh. What he he. He just, he just set him, he just reeled himself up for that one. Did he, did he, did he, did he, did he, did he couldn't help himself. Because I was like, that was But you know what's weird is that's joke. a classic line because was, we're old now. I'm fine with that line. It was the it's, worst thing she said in that movie. What happens when lightning hits a tower? It was, but it was nothing compared to whatever that chick was saying in Dark Phoenix, so. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, which, they just with thing in Dark Phoenix. This, whatever, what, every, anytime that storm opened her mouth, I was like, what? She was. They were. She was Unre- fine. It's in, irrelevant. Uh, anyway, was, next scene. She was fine in Apocalypse. And then Dark Phoenix I, just just I a bad she movie. She was great in Apocalypse. She was well, okay. She was, no, she was also a whole movie was trash. Nobody yeah. was good except yeah. I did yeah. like Nobody Psylocke. I did like her, but like Olivia still, Olivia 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 very... but she was just kind of there too. Like she, yeah, yeah. She was just but she was, she was she was she was good. I mean, she was good. Nothing against nothing against Olivia Munn. I appreciate she Olivia. Was oh, Olivia but, Munn, right? She was I, she was fine. <laughs> they just didn't do anything with her character, right? But hey, if they if if they brought Psylocke back, she was would, eye you, candy. would you still get her? Would you yeah. still call Olivia to play that role, or would you find someone else? I mean, if they're gonna give her something to do so she could actually try, fine. Like, I don't I even mean, feel like she got a fair try at the character. I mean, she was not she, a yeah, character. all that, that too. time and like... sword training and didn't even get to use it that did, long. She did, you guys. So, no, that was sad. Right. So That's it just—it like, really depends on if they're long? gonna, yeah, if they're gonna actually try, and they want to give her another shot. I won't say no. She, I mean, right. Olivia yeah. Munn so can fill out the suit Olivia, for sure. So we want Olivia, but... James, and Michael <laughs> hey, in we'll the X Men. They got plenty of time to figure it out. We got plenty about of time. Quicksilver. No, they, I just. Oh man, that's gonna be an awkward talk. <laughs> I like the other guy. <laughs> you know, he dead though. Would Sorry. that be crazy if we brought back? back Aaron Taylor? John? I like him better. I feel like he. I know. I, I like mean, that version of him. But, but I feel like people just really enjoyed the Fox version, so I think that'll win out probably. Because it was a gimmick. People love gimmicks. It's all they gimmick. Issue. People love they gimmicks. Really I know, like but gimmicks. it was literally all gimmick. <laughs> he was go. perfect. Anybody could have done that, and they'd be like, "Oh, that's so cool!" I right. could go but he, I all day like... with you with that one. You're right. <laughs> he was perfect in WandaVision. In the gimmicks. movies, yes, he was entertaining. But oh. within this, this whole how the story was set up and how he was a fake Pietro. Within the role of being a fake Pietro, he was a pretty damn good Pietro. Because, like, their chemistry, I was not expecting that. You know, I mean, we remember the old Quicksilver. Yeah, but I didn't think she would still have a fake person still have that sibling chemistry. And he would, like, it was, I liked it. I I liked those episodes. But the fact that, okay, so... There might be another... Mutants, I, maybe maybe what I'll say to that is there might be another argument that he didn't really get to play Quicksilver because he was a gimmick. Yeah. And so in True. this show, he was finally able to be Pietro, and he, yes. he wasn't bad. I, he but was it was fake. fake. Pietro. That's, That's really me. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's the case. He, he finally got to be the best Pietro in his damn life, and it was fake. <laughs> Good job, even Peter. Disappointment. I mean, only one of them <laughs> has made their mark, and that's the other one, because literally, uh, what's his name? Clint named their son, or their daughter, their, oh, no, yeah. their son, their middle name is Pietro, because of Pietro died saving him. Oh, yeah. That's so true. only one of them made a true mark, and that was that first one. 
Yeah. For Hawkeye. Yeah, for Hawkeye. Yeah. Hawkeye was like, oh, that kid saved my life, and now I get to see my baby be born. Dang. And go Sorry, murder all the people Pietro. shortly afterwards. <laughs> Way to go, Hawkeye. But we'll see. Marvel, we'll see. So, yes. yes. Marvel, you got us all mixed up and excited, but good job on WandaVision. We are, we are waiting a week till Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, you guys, listeners, we, Set of course, talks. will keep you guys updated. March 18th. We're excited. We have no idea what's in the store. I'm not watching any previews or anything else for the rest of the week, because I oh. feel like they're going to try to sneak that in. I'm not watching it. I'm just okay. going to be surprised, because yeah. my brain's going to start overthinking. Time to buy more red twine, you guys. Remember to buy more I red mean, twine. Don't worry, Mike. Wait, I think we should board. change the twine because red twine is like scarlet. Blue twine. Let's, blue let's go blue or, this time. Blue Either blue or gray. One of those two. Blue or gray. Oh, no, okay. I'm buying green for Loki, though. You know, to be with the we'll show. See, so. and I, we'll also see what Marvel movie they plug at the end credits because they plugged well, Age of Ultron for this one. So we'll see if they plug a different movie at the end. Of this is true. I feel like they're going to plug Silver War. War. Let's let's take bets. I mean, what movie do you they think will. they're going to play? I think well, it's going to be Civil yeah, War. No, this is a, yes, this is, but it could this be is, Winter Soldier, too. It could be Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, probably. I'm not taking a bet. Baron no, Zemo no, is the main character of the most, show. Like, yeah, I was going to say that. Baron's, Baron Zemo is the main character. One of those two like, movies. He's, what he movies? Only, it's Baron Zemo. He's, and he's Falcon, only in Civil War. Yeah, it's always, it's, it's going to be Civil War because all three of them are in that movie together. He's not in Civil War. He's not in Winter Soldier. These are two movies. Winter Soldier no, doesn't Zemo, have Baron, Baron Zemo. Zemo? Yeah. Winter Zemo's Soldier only just in Civil has War. Bucky. Zemo's only in C- Civil War. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're, I was thinking about the main characters. But Winter Soldier going, okay. literally just You're has fine. Winter no, no. Soldier he's there, he's there. And, like Black Panther. <laughs> um, but after this show ends, Black Widow is coming out. That's the next Marvel well, thing. Are we sure? When? Where? May. How? It comes out in May, but I don't know how. Hey, That's all I know. It comes out in California's May. California's opening oh, up stadiums very soon, so there's yeah. no reason why movie theaters Freaking won't be going nice. to be and, and I will say, this is the one thing that I think, out of all of the great things that Marvel has done in terms of their properties, this one property got done the dirtiest. They should have released this for streaming a while ago, and they've been dragging their feet on this. They have a huge year now because they waited on it, so it doesn't yeah, seem like a bad idea. Reshoots. I hope they did um, some reshoots. I did. I did. Con. I did let um, Amy know the original plan before COVID. So if this year had worked out how it should be, One Division ended, and Doctor Strange would have came out next. So Doctor Strange would have come out in like May. But because of COVID, Doctor Strange comes out a year from now. So I don't like <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Black Widow would have came out last year, but Winter Soldier would have came out in the fall, I believe, of last year. Winter do you mean Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Yeah. Falcon okay. and the Winter Soldier. Like, Winter the Soldier show. came out Sorry. years ago. <laughs> like the movie? <laughs> the the show would have came out, I believe, in the fall. Mm-hmm. And Black Widow would have came out last May. So in terms of that was the original plan, you know, they're mixing it up. So it is interesting to see uh, what, like, we all know they're connected, but, like, mm-hmm. yeah. how? And it looks like that thing, and also it's like Marvel Legends, the other piece of Disney. They're releasing Marvel Legends episodes whenever the a person's show comes out. So when WandaVision came out, they did two Marvel Legend episodes about Wanda and Vision. And since Winter Soldier's coming out with Falcon, they, they released two episodes about Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, so Disney definitely is using their platform to just tie together all these things so uh, you can just be a part of that uh, that experience of reading and learning up on these characters. Disney Plus start. is saying, we're giving you the notes. Please take these notes because And they increase their subscription price as well. So that's how you know it's getting real. Of course they did. Oh, of you think this is the beginning? Did. Yeah, it's they're like, yo, good. we got y'all hooked. Give you think this dollars. is a game? Like, Exactly. <laughs> it's like Netflix yes. is going for thirteen ninety nine. We're gonna get up there too, but we're gonna give but you one more. But is it true that HBO Max is like we're actually gonna lower our price? I read that somewhere. So not only HBO Max is releasing new stuff, but they're trying to like either keep their price the same or make just, they just want to be lower than Disney and Netflix. So, they don't lower prices because streaming wars. Let me look it up. It's but HBO up. Max is, is trying to be top tier, and I, I feel it. I get it. I mean, you just released Lord of the Rings, but Disney's still cheaper than them. Yeah, really? Dis- yeah, oh, yeah, it's true. Cheaper. 
That's true. This is hella like, cheaper compared to yeah. HBO. Yeah, very much okay. so. Okay. In my head, I'm like, it's money regardless. <laughs> Would be a very financially good choice to make. Let's lower ourselves. But yeah, so we'll see what happens with Disney. Disney's already got it in the ropes. Um, is that going for them? Do we have time for any more uh, topics before we... You have about little around 20 minutes or a little less than that's, that's Marlon's Corner? Minutes. Fantastic. Marlon's we'll Corner? We'll just cut out this bit here and just drop in Marlon's Corner. <laughs> hey. Because I want, to hear, I want to hear Raven's thoughts on this topic. All right, so um, yes, definitely check out WandaVision. Also check out Disney+. Plus. They have a lot of stuff going for them. And they're going to keep it going with this week-to-week, almost cable-esque schedule because you can't truly escape cable. Um, but in other news, we're definitely going to touch on a while ago, um, Pokemon fans were treated to two Pokemon announcements oh, yeah. um, because why not? Because Pokemon's going to be an endless moneymaker. Um, they're going to be doing another redo, another remake, this time of a Diamond and Pearl. They're going to be called Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl with brand spanking new graphics. Now your character is like really kind of chibi-esque. You kind of, you can see them walk around. And now the battles are even closer because there's no longer that little circle they stand on. Now they're just fighting face to face and you're just like in it. And now you're in their faces and you're going at it. And of course they've updated the, the transitions and the and the amazing sound effects and I'm sure, I'm sure the games and the Pokemon beauty contests and whatnot. I'm sure it's Pokemon. It's always an update. Now, the bigger news they're doing is they're doing they're they're dipping their toe into the RP into the RPG world, and they're releasing a Pokemon RPG s game or RPG inspired game called Pokemon Legends uh, Arceus, um, or or as I like to call it, Pokemon Shippuden. Because um, <laughs> basically, you're in like um, feudal Sinnoh, so you're wearing like really kind of like. Um, old-fashioned ninja-esque outfits in this uh, open world uh, world of Pokemon. They give you three Pokemon, but of course, to like spice things up, you're in Sinnoh, but they give you Rowlet from Aloha. They give you um, Cyndaquil from, I want to say, is that Hoenn? The Hoenn it's region? Shoto. 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 And they give you Oshawott from the Yuvia? Y- Unova. Y- Unova. There you go. Unova location. So they're getting three Pokemon from three different locations, but of course they fit with the fire, water, grass archetype. But now, the biggest difference they're doing is, because it's RPG based, you can fill your Pokedex up just by <laughs> literally like creeping up on the Pokemon and watching it, and apparently it fills up your Pokedex because you can observe it and look at it and take notes on it. And oh then uh, if you want, you can, just, you can just from your pocket throw a Pokeball at it. Like just see it in the open, toss a Pokeball at it and see if you can catch it or not. Or you can throw one of your Pokeballs that has a Pokemon in it, throw it towards it, the Pokeball opens up, the Pokemon comes out, and a battle starts. What? So we're disturbing their off days now. I mean, First we were all, already Kat, disturbing their off days. This yeah, is- Kat, <laughs> do you not know that Pokemon is just like dog fighting? This is where you draw the line, Kat? This is where Kat- <laughs> I'm just saying... From breedies, breeding, po- like the ultimate Pokemon, to now we're like disturbing them. Like we're literally this like, your final wake up, cat. fight. Yeah. You gonna we're give me always... some money today? Oh, yeah. we already got a Pokemon. What... Oh, fight him too. Yeah. Did you like buy... capturing? How yeah. far can we go on this Pokemon business? Yeah. We can start first a Pokemon. union for these Pokemon. Yeah. I'm sorry, In the first it's Pokemon, getting too crazy. You can go to a literal <laughs> safari zone where they have endangered oh Pokemon God. species and catch them on the safari zone. Why do you want to catch endangered Pokemon? <laughs> Did you not forget that that's what the Safari Zone is? It's like we I don't play these games because like? I don't support the the the. I'm I'm on my Hermione now when she was doing about house elves. I'm trying to save freedom for Pokemon. <laughs> oh <my> like, God. <laughs> not even real. <laughs> I mean, neither are elves, but I'm down with. <laughs> that. Yes. Uh, yes, thank you, Raven. Fight you the are. power. <laughs> Maybe that's what my thing needs to be oh. now. Is. Uh... Uh, yeah, I need to I need to figure out what the name of that organization was. No, but also this game isn't. Here's, I'm tired of Pokemon Company. I've said this before. Thank you, Ray. Uh, Please go off. I'm tired yes. of them because they've been making the same game for 25 years. Oh yeah. And and I need them to like it be more innovative. Um, 
they have also made side games, I know, and like they, I have liked some of those, and people Snap. do the ones that I haven't played, and Dungeon fine. <laughs> I love Pokemon. I like there's, I have played basically every generation, but they they have just been getting lazy. So uh, this at least looks like they're doing something new, but it's very obvious that they just have the look down because the rest of the gameplay procedure mm -hmm. is literally exactly the same thing, and so oh, yeah. I'm 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 on the small side of hope of maybe that was just like really 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 early footage and so that's why it looked exactly the same because they hadn't worked on any of the rest of the stuff so they just filled it in with something really easy and familiar and none of that will be in there when we get a final game but we'll see also apparently pokeballs work in feudal era, era japan so yeah pokeballs, yeah. Are, pokeballs are magic <laughs> the thing. they release what these pokeballs look like they look kind of like steampunk pokeballs because like it's like a little yeah. latch oh that goes God. on top of them now to like yeah. close it pokeballs. And like this is a steampunk pokeball <laughs> it's like it it's close with a little latch like i gotcha <laughs> is there gonna be a show where They're it's probably like well. a prequel oh, yeah. Yeah, is. and it's the beginning of like this is how the, the entire Pokemon company. Pokemon. This is why they've been lazy because this is how they make all their money now. Is all the extra merchandise yeah. and card games and yeah. and animes and all Cat, the stuff. They make so like, much money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks oh like gosh. Naruto. Like there's a scene where he, like where your character is like running out of town, and literally the background looks like you're running out of the Leaf Village. Like it's fully oh set up gosh. like in this kind of like ninja esque time period. So I'm like, if they don't make this into a, a successful anime, like they they're, they're, they're gonna make they're Ghost, of, shot, Ghost of Tsushima Pokemon style, and you're gonna be dealing with ninjas, no, 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 samurais, no, no, no. and Pokemon. They're they're making Breath of the Wild Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, it's, it's this game's wild, gonna yeah. be probably the sequel to the Breath of the Wild one. Yeah. Now it, we are dealing with war, if but anything, we, we gotta get the Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, if anything, Nintendo really made their mark because not only did like <laughs> Phoenix copy Breath of the Wild, uh, not only did what's that other game that's also like it's called um, Genshin. Uh, what's it called? Oh, it's that like, Genshin, Genshin Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Now Pokemon is copying the exact same uh, open it world. It will probably can't stop. Won't oh, stop. No. Yeah. Don't say can't that. Stop, won't stop. Don't say that. It looks it, like when I saw it, I was Ray's like, coming. I was like, this like Don't if you put that. in like uh, if you put in any of the little moblins, this is Breath of the Wild. This <laughs> is. I look forward to seeing if they do anything new. I feel like Me maybe too. they'll bring back the camping thing because you're literally in feudal. No, you still. You said bring back. No, just let's, <laughs> let's do new. Oh, Raymond, new you know that they, that they don't do new. You know they don't do new stuff, Raymond. Uh, yeah, that's. Do they know part. how? I feel like the. the I, I feel like the do. newest thing they've done is this mix match of starters, where it's like we're giving you a different starter from a different region. For, like that was oh, the gosh. that was probably the newest thing I've seen of like oh like that's, none of these are from this region that's just like, that's par that's, that's not new one. that's par for the course they've been doing quality of life changes for twenty five years quality of life changes has well, been their I mean, like, that's I mean, like as a starter change. like as like you know because like, yeah. like for most of the games the three starters are like. These are like oh, the I, starters of yeah, this game. I like, agree with you that, that it's oh, that yeah. it's new. I'm just saying it's a quality of life change. Yeah, like yeah. that's it's not really changing it much to the actual formula of the game. It's just like, ooh, the, we're doing starters a little differently. This is isn't this new? No, it's just it's not even creative. Come on, well, you just give me hit me with They're the it's hit me with that good stuff. I just I just need someone to do, pull a whole one division and like make these Pokemon be in a safe bubble where no trainers can access them oh and they can or their read a proposal comes down there. and make my monster grow and just like Pokemon <laughs> yes. get their Dynamax yes. <laughs> yeah so they can live they their lives crazy. in peace yeah. like can so I have I'm that hearing, I just want something different <laughs> so what I'm hearing everyone say is that they want Pokemon to have more say and they also want them to grow. So what we're literally talking about is Digimon. Yes. That's what we're yes, literally talking anyway. about is Digimon. It's better than that anyway. I mean, Digimon is better for those two reasons. Digimon has, they have way more rights, okay? They, like, they, yeah, they, they, not, they do have rights. They get to like, they no, we live in a community with each other. If the Pokemon saw and how the talk. Digimon were living, oh, oh yeah, it's they go over. On strike real it's going to be yeah. strikes. It'd be a revolt. <laughs> Charizard would burn everyone. Like, wait, wait, wait. you mean you <laughs> get to live in a city with each other and no one bothers you and they give you respect? 
Oh hell no! <laughs> and then the Pokemon War begins. That's the that's the show I want to watch. That's the game I'm gonna. That's the game I want to play too. <laughs> Which side are you on? The trainers so, or the Pokemon? I'm, I'm on the Pokemon that, side. That like Digimon are kind of like Wakanda, where it's like, what do you mean yes. they enslave you out there? <laughs> yes, Digimon is Wakanda. We put up our Pokemon walls need to wake and, up. and like isolate. <laughs> They didn't know. <laughs> Bring on the army of lions. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Please. We need to write this down. I'm like dead ass. We need to. I will be. I will love to be. a. I would love to see this new generation of Pokemon if it was like that. Instead like of the, the same old. The problem with Digimon is that they have like a thousand evolutions. Like Agumon it's fine. Is still, we'll just get this all fan made and then we'll Agumon is still make it like that. Digivolving to this day, twenty plus years later into different things. Right. And, war, but it makes war, sense. Though. <laughs> it makes sense though. I mean it's the digital we're living in the digital age, like Digital Monsters. Right. Digimon have like, more power. Da-na-na, don't get me started with Yu-Gi-Oh! Because then that's another thing too. <laughs> They're all connected. Mm-hmm. I know. Also, I will say, Di- Digimon, in terms of like social emotional, they definitely did a lot of deep diving into depression and anxiety. Because they have mental health suicide. professionals. <laughs> they were like hitting real, like actual problems. And Pokemon's like, listen, if things go wrong, just get some milk, take milk, and you'll feel so much better. <laughs> Dude, Digimon is Wakanda. They have mental health professionals, they have rights. They grow and 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 they they better themselves. True. Pokemon is the same old. And if you're mean to them, they turn into an evil bird and something. They try to kill you. The I mean, energy you it'd be, give it'd be affects like that. them negatively, <laughs> and they'll try to eat you if you are giving them negative vibes. I mean, I'm the same way. So. <laughs> I mean, do you forget that Charizard <laughs> literally was like abandoned in the rain and almost died from his yes. trainer? Yes. Yes. I remember that because I was like, "Well, this episode was not cool." That trainer should have been beat within an inch of his life. Like, how dare you almost? This creature I'm dies just gonna accept this. if his flame goes out. That's his creature's defect. He has right. an outside flame, and if he's caught in the rain, he dies. And you wanted that to happen? That's not okay. We glaze That's over not that. Okay. Like they never went back to that. Like that, that plot point of like, oh, by the way, Charizard never goes in the water, or if you ever bathe it, that flame goes out. They just full dead. Just full dead. We no revival. It's just the flames out. We're not. That's we're issue. not giving any types of resources to help prevent this. Uh-huh. We're just letting him always live close to death by being outside. If you don't check the weather, like, just saying. Y'all don't care about your Pokemon. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> not my Pokemon. Not my Pokemon. <laughs> well, that's all I got huh. for my, for uh, Pokemon Watch on our corner. Uh, I'm watch. not gonna buy it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm just being honest. I'm not gonna buy a it. Nice wrap up. I feel like that was a nice wrap up. I feel like I'm not gonna buy it. I like but you might want like, to. <laughs> I skipped black and white, and then I skipped diamond and pearl, and I think I got yeah. And I think the, the last one I got was uh, the, the shield and sword, the Galarian yeah. one. Uh, That's the one I have. And I feel like playing it, I just didn't have that same joy. I was like, you know what? This is not for me anymore. I think, yeah. I, I, well, you grew up. Yeah, I, I to set it free. The thing is, I think I, I asked for too much, which is for things to be different, and they're not. It was just like, great. If you're not willing to, like, update yourself or do anything new, then I shouldn't be, like, paying you, like, 60 bucks out the gate for this. I'm good. That's exactly how I feel. And, and they're I'm doing this new thing now Pokemon where, like, they give you, like... <laughs> And, like, they're, 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 they're doing this new thing where they have, like, DLCs that come out later in the game. So, like, for Galera, it's a like, great, this is, like, you get to unlock two new, um, like, two new places to continue playing the game several months later when the game's out. It's like, why not just give me the, 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 the whole thing so I can just enjoy it? But, yeah, that's just me. We'll have a Pokemon episode soon. Also, that poker rap we'll- song is too long now. It's gotten too long. <laughs> I still haven't heard it. It's it got longer. <laughs> so many Pokemon. How long is it now? It's five days. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> You're still listening to it, dang. That poor man. Gotta take breaks. Diglett, Electro, and 
Can I take a break? Can, can I take a walk? You do not get a water break. There are how many more? Keep going. 875. Jesus. <laughs> and go. This was just a candle. <laughs> how is this a Pokemon? This is this was a literal. We fork. don't pay for you to judge our product. We pay for you to sing, little man. <laughs> These are this Pokemon is just keys. This Pokemon had just five keys on the ring. How's this it's just Pokemon? Five keys. <laughs> this Pokemon, sir. <laughs> His name is Key Lake. Sing about him. <laughs> Sad. This Pokemon is two scoops of ice cream. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Because you had no other choice. Think about your family. <laughs> Even behind the scenes is crazy. We need to do a Pokemon episode. Just the Pokemon about industry. The, uh, about the top ten most useless Pokemon designs. I got. I got them all right now. <laughs> I am not surprised if you just have that list in your pocket. It's like Ray just said. For, just, they just ran out of ideas and were like, "Let me look around my room real quick." Let me look around what I got. What I got? Oh, a chandelier? Pokemon. Fire type. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those things. Look to the right of you. What's the number one thing? The, the first thing you grab is a weapon. The first thing you grab is a Pokemon. Oh, it's a napkin. <laughs> they, napkin I choose you. <laughs> they literally made a remote, like a, a video game controller Pokemon, and it's called. Yes, I saw that. And I was like, y'all are just doing stuff. You're not even trying to be inventive anymore. You're just picking ideas up. Like that, they're literally making Pokemon be kind of like Transformers, and it's getting kind of weird. So now we're like crossing into another fandom, and we're like, "What can Transformers turn into?" Hmm. Let's take this idea. Pokemon you know? roll like, out. <laughs> roll out. So many uh, well, that's all I got. But man, that was. Thank you for indulging me in that conversation. No, that was that was very fruitful. I appreciate that. It Thank seemed you, like you, it, 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 it seemed like you had a lot to say, like you had a I lot did. like bubbling inside of you for a very long. Pokemon time. had all the all the money behind it to be something new, and it just hasn't done that. Uh, I I mean I had I've been having these Pokemon thoughts for a minute, but then when you told me what it was happening, I was like, okay, so we don't give a Maybe fuck about Pokemon. Later. <laughs> Maybe sooner or later. Cat, I'm they upset that you didn't new. realize that we didn't give a crap about them. Since the first red and blue game, we didn't, we didn't give a care about these Pokemon. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I You're just kind of stepped away from all the Pokemon games, so that I didn't think about them at okay. all. We've been dog just judging them by the TV for shows for plus years <laughs> for money. And they were literally naming the games after every color, every like every gym Stone. and everything. Weather patterns. Okay. Yeah, next is probably going to be like clouds cumulus cloud version or something i don't know pokemon cumulus <laughs> <laughs> oh but okay we're gonna wrap this episode up you guys thank you again for hanging out had so much fun talking about wanda falcon and a winter soldier stay tuned to that and the maddie wonderful world of pokemon i'm using wonderful in quotation marks um Thanks again, you guys, for another great episode. Listeners, don't forget, we love to hear what you have to say. Questions, comments, concerns, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as check out our wonderful, beautiful site. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, you yeah. Geek so, site? Yeah, our, our Geek Force site. What's the Not live yet. TV? Not up yet. It's not oh, okay. up yet, cat. That's just a dream I had. <laughs> yeah. Someday. <laughs> not even close. It will not even materialize close. on the on the web. It's in, then... it's in Westview. That's where it's at. It's Wanda, in, why did you Wanda's do this to brain. me? Why did you do this to me, Wanda? She put, hey. she put it in my brain, Amy. It's there. <laughs> I promise you guys, it's coming. Maybe something. I don't know. Check out. Uh, check it out soon. Anyway. Thank you guys for listening to us. Until then, uh, play your games. Don't forget to check out Attack on Titan and Game or Game and Geek On. I don't know why I said both, but yeah, let's do both this week. <laughs> First of all, I'm just glad you didn't say hug each other again. <laughs> I did it. I was. <laughs>